Uh, been thinking about doing a video for a while. First of all, do you like my shirt? Hang loose. Got it from my grandparents' trip to Hawaii, which I did not go on. They just got the shirt for me. Anywho, um, I'm going to do a video. Things I hate. There are a bunch of things I hate. I'm going to touch up on a few of them. First one. Fake videos and videos that have no purpose. Or videos that waste my time. Uh, there are a bunch of them. There's a lot of them. I look up... Uh, there's videos that have screamers in them. There's videos that are just a blank picture for five minutes and then you hear ah at the end of it. And there's also videos that contain Rick Rolls, which I will get to in shortly. Yeah, I don't like these videos. There's no point to them. They there's never been a point to them, but people keep doing that. People keep people bleh. people keep putting them on YouTube for some reason. Uh, reason. They just want to get their views up. They want to get their subs up. They want to get their friends up. First of all, you're probably going to only get a few views out of it and then everybody realizes, oh wait, this video is fake. And the only ones that are viewing it again are the people that just looked at it for the first time. Secondly, you're not going to get your subs up at all because you're not going to get anybody to watch any of your other videos, even if they are legit. And third, no one's going to want to be your friend. They don't want to be a friend to, oh, this guy that produces fake videos. No. F off. Secondly. Oh, actually, before I go on to that, um, here's what I mean by fake videos. I search up a video. I search up into the text box something. I see a video. think it's legit. I click on it. Guess what? I pause the video to make sure there's no bullcrap going on with it. Because I know it's kind of a touchy subject on people releasing videos on it. I'm not going to get into what it is, but it's something that I happen to know and most people don't. It says, contains content from Rick Astley's official channel. Yeah. How predictable. You think we're seriously going to fall for it? That's what video descriptions are for. That's what that little thing is for. Heck, I can even tell now. And on the subject of Rick Astley, who is actually that one song that he made is actually not a bad song. Rick Roll videos. I am sick and tired of them. I have been sick and tired of them. This has been an ongoing thing. And this is not just pertaining to YouTube. This is pertaining to... Internet. They post a topic on a forum. Like, oh, this great thing happened. Check this out. I got a one-on-one or whatever. Or, oh, I just got this on Guitar Hero. You click the, video, you click the link to the video. And we're going to give you up. Or whatever. The Rickwell thing, it's stale as old bread. It is staler than old bread. Every single person on YouTube, every single person on forums, has to be cool, or thinks they're being cool, and being tough, or being funny, whatever, by posting a link to a Rickroll video. Thinking, ha ha ha, funny, funny, funny. No, it's not funny anymore. Heck, the only reason I view the Rick Astley video anymore is because I like the song. It's not a bad song. It's actually a very good song. I just don't see the point of using Rickroll anymore. It's just that craze is long gone. It shouldn't ever be pulling up, you know? I hate it. Everybody uses that video on forums. They use the link to that video every single place they can think of. For every single thing they can think of. I personally don't see the point of it. There's no point in using Rickroll anymore. There's none. At all. Zip, zilch, nada. It's just gone. You know, that funniness is long gone. Another thing. Copyrights. Specifically, WMG and UMG. I've posted two videos responding to these copyright issues. I'm going to post a part of a third one here. YouTube, basically, along with W... YouTube, apparently, wants to take down every single video that has to do with WMG and UMG. You know why? Because WMG and UMG and possibly YouTube are copyright whores. Yes, I said it. Copyright whores. Everything... They even, apparently, one of uh, my uh, friends and one person I'm actually subscribed to, and I think he's one of my subscribers as well, Posted comments say that a band's video, music video, got taken down from their own channel. YouTube, why the hell are you still doing this? 
it's your fault, basically, it's your fault for not signing another contract or not getting something done with WMG to fix this issue. And all the other copyright issues that you've supposedly had to deal with, or by dealing with, I basically mean sometimes not even, you know, sending the user a message saying, oh, this is a copyright issue, this is a copyright issue, and deleting the video, or taking the audio out of the video, or doing something like not even warning them and just taking the video down. YouTube, I have three, I have two words. Fuck you. Anybody with a half, anybody with a brain cell and a third grade education can realize that pretty much all of the copyright issues that are going on boil down to you, YouTube, because you don't know how to deal with them correctly. You don't know how to deal with the companies that produce the, that, you know, that you're supposedly with the copyright, you're supposedly having to deal with copyright issues with. You don't know how to fix those issues. You don't know how to sign a contract or sign another deal with those companies saying, okay, you can, okay, we can use this, on, we can use your stuff on our, and on people's videos that, or the videos that people post on our site. You've even gone so much as, so far as to take a music video down from the band's official YouTube page. What the fuck? What the fuck? Seriously. Who do you think you're fooling? Okay, there's no reason for that bullcrap. There's no reason at all. There's absolutely no reason. It's the band's official YouTube page. It's the band's official... The band's affiliated with WMG or UMG. It's their YouTube page. They should do whatever the hell they want. Obviously, that doesn't doesn't work around YouTube. YouTube obviously wants to be... Wants to wants to say, Oh, well, you're, you're a copyright whore, so we're going to take this video down. Because it belongs to this. It does this. It does that. It's, it's the band's video. It, they're associated with you. But, the, you know what? You're a copyright... You know... We we love copyright whores. We're copyright whores. Why? Please tell me why. That's all I want. Unnecessary user suspensions is another thing, and I'll touch up on this very quickly before the end of the video. Before I end this thing at 10 minutes. Unnecessary YouTube suspensions and count closers. I want to know why... Some of the best people on YouTube get suspended for no fucking reason. How half of my subscribe some of my subscriptions that I'm subscribed to suspended for no reason. I go to the video, the page is you know, the page and like, okay, I want to view this video again. This account has been suspended or this account has been closed. Why? YouTube, please explain to us. I don't even care if you don't want to explain to us. We want an explanation, we want it now. Because all this crap that I just talked about in this video, the copyright issues, all the Rickroll posts, all the fake videos, all of the unnecessary user subscription or user sus suspensions and all that crap can be easily dealt with if you can just lax back a little bit or take care of the copyright crap yourself. <sighs> That's it. Um, a couple things real quick, or one thing real quick mainly. Um, two things actually one i am gonna get in i just bought a lot off of ebay today it's a hundred bit football packs for 40 bucks uh, from 1989 i think to 2007 it's not a bad lock se lot several um several different brands you know can't wait to try it out it's, a, it's for 40 bucks you know even if they were a dollar a pack even if i get mostly vintage crap you know a dollar a pack it's a hundred dollars for 40 bucks you know that's not bad and it was free shipping too. So I'm going to get that in and I'm going to post about a pack or two of that a day. Probably get here in about a week though. Um, because it's coming from Illinois. And also uh, it's parcel post. So it's going to be, it's going to take longer. But hey, eh, it's going to be a good bust I think. Even if it's all cheap retail packs and I get nothing. 40 bucks is not a bad bust. It's, you know, it's 40 bucks. It's eBay. What do you want? It's a pretty good, pretty good deal. Uh, and, uh, shout out real quick to Bobby, Bobo, you Miami 89 I'm work, trying to work on a trade with him, but I don't know if he's got what I want, and he's got awesome videos, too. So that's it. I'm at the 10-minute mark. Thank you. Good.